One of Fresno's iconic buildings in downtown Fresno was the center of a two-alarm fire over the weekend. Fire investigators say the building's fire suppression system prevented a disaster. Around 4 yesterday afternoon, the Fresno Fire Department says a fire engine responded to the Pacific Southwest building near Fulton and Mariposa. After a report, a sprinkler system had gone off on the 14th floor. CBS 47's Adrian Thomas joins us live at the Pacific Southwest building with more on this close call. Adrian. Ken Catherine, the building's property manager, says this is one of the worst fire incidents the building has experienced in years. The property manager and fire officials say thanks to the right precautions, a much more serious situation was avoided. Fire officials reported no injuries and that everyone inside got out safely. The building's property manager says the 14th floor is a mostly vacant space right now. He credits the building's fire suppression system in the outcome of Sunday's fire. For this building, uh, it is very crucial for the height, you know, and the, the size. So our systems uh, did their job properly. A fire prevention engineer with the Fresno Fire Department says having the right systems in place can mean the difference in life or death. We know that in more than 90% of the cases, three sprinkler heads or less will control or extinguish a fire. Justin Beal is an expert on most buildings fire safety plans in Fresno. He says the Pacific Southwest building has been well prepared for fires for decades. In the 1960s, the city of Fresno embarked on a pretty large redevelopment plan and during that this building was actually required to be retrofitted with fire sprinklers from the basement all the way up to the top floor. Quail State is a newer cocktail bar on the building's second floor. The bar sustained no damage in the fire. Fire safety in a historic building is of the utmost importance. So before we could even get a permit to operate, we had to make sure that there are fire suppression systems in place, firewalls, uh, smoke dampers. Again, fire officials say nobody was injured in this fire and that everyone got out safely. However, there were some tenants right below the 14th floor where those sprinklers went off that had some water damage in their apartments and they have been temporarily displaced. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Live in downtown Fresno, Adrian Thomas, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.